Lindy here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be able to sit down here again today. I just came back home from Macau. I just went there for two days. So I had a business meeting over there and I also had some more time as I was staying overnight. So I had some time for shopping and I thought to go to like Chanel and also to Chanel Beauty and I also bought something that I really want to unbox which is why I'm filming this video so fast. You guys know usually I'm not good at this. So I don't want to talk too much in this video so let me go straight into unboxing the things this bag is so big she also gave me a smaller one which is inside so maybe I'll just hold it here oh my lights <laughs> so I'll just hold this here so I'll just go straight into the beauty products that I got from Chanel which I really really love so some of the items you have seen me got in Europe as well so as you can see these are the products and I'll just pick them up randomly one by one so the first thing I got is the Mousse Comfort, which is the cleansing foam. As I told you guys, I only use cleansing foams. There's like a brochure inside. I'm just going to put away all the packaging and show you guys the product. It's just like a cleansing foam, like a normal cleansing foam, and it's still closed. I won't open it yet because I haven't finished up my own set, but it's almost finished, which is why I really wanted to get it. Actually, my parents are coming back from Denmark here in three days and I'm really excited they're gonna bring me so many things that I love to eat and actually I wanted to let them buy it for me in Denmark because actually it's a bit cheaper but I just thought when I was in Macau I just want to buy it because when they come back they have so many things also for the dogs it's so heavy and skincare products are so heavy as well so I don't want them to bring too much so this is the mousse and it's a cleansing foam and I really like that because it's foaming up and it cleanses my skin really well and I can only use cleansing foams with my Clarisonic. So this is a really really good and really nice smelling cleansing foam and it's really rich so just a little goes a long way. I really like it and I guess there's no more to say about this. So the next thing I got is this one and I guess many of you guys know it because this is from the very well-known Chanel Hydra Beauty series and if you saw I bought this in Europe as well. It's almost finished. I have like really just a bit left so that is why I had to get one more but the one that I got in Denmark um, was the one that is super moist and this one is just the normal moist one because my skin is like combination skin I get oily on my t-zone and I get dry around my nose in the winter time but in the summertime I'm more like dewy so I don't need to have like a super moist one so this one is just called the Hydra Beauty Lotion so it gives hydration, protection, radiance and it's just the moist one so it's the clear packaging the last one I got was like plastic packaging and this is the new Chanel packaging I really love it it's just so beautiful it smells so nice but it's still closed so I don't want to open it because once you open it you should actually use them so they don't expire so that was the beauty lotion and the next item I got it's the Hydra Beauty Hydration Protection Radiance Mask so inside it's just a little tube like this it's 75 milliliters and it's a mask that you need to rinse off it's just super rich and moisturizing I haven't used this before but I just thought to try as I really love this cereal the Hydra Beauty cereal is just really super moisturizing and I just feel like my skin gets so much plumpier with <laughs> plumper? plumpier? I don't know how to say you guys know I also like Korean skincare and I love my Hera products as well I also just used the moisturizing cereal from Hera which is called the Acrobolic I really love it I was like breaking a bit out in the beginning I don't know why I never used to break out but it was Maybe because I was in Denmark when I started using it and the weather there is just really really cold and my skin started cracking so I'm not sure it was because of the Hera products but anyway I just love the Chanel Hydra Beauty series more which is why I got the entire series in Denmark so the next product I got is the Hydra Beauty Micro Serum so this one is the new serum so it got some bubbles inside I think it's a bit different from the usual one because this one is also a little bit more expensive and this one is the new one I haven't tried it before as you can see there's bubbles inside so it's full of like bubbles which is the micro serum I don't know let me see if I can tell you something more about it no I can't it's just advanced moisture serum for the face 
and it replenishes your skin and protect it and also give it radiance so there's nothing about the micro light beads inside but I'm sure that it's more intense than the normal one which is why it's a little bit more expensive so yeah that was that and the next product I got here is the eye cream and I have used this before I really like it so this one is called the Hydra Beauty Micro Gel Yikes. So this is also the micro, so everything micro is the new type where there is these bubbles inside. So yeah, I can't smell anything but I know that this series is just a so good smelling. I love the smell so so much. It just feels like I've just been to a spa every time I moisturize my face. So this one is the eye cream and it also comes with a pump like the serum. So the last item that I got is also from the micro series and this one is their newest cream and it comes with this little spoolie and yeah I'm just gonna place everything beside. There is also a little booklet brochure inside every single item and now my things are wanting to fall down. This one is the newest micro cream and again it's a little bit more expensive than the normal one but I really wanted to try it out. So here it is. So you can't really see again. It's just really really pretty packaging. I can't wait to use it. I have still not used up mine but I think maybe around 2 to 3 weeks more and I'll have to use this new set. So yeah that was what I got from the Chanel skincare line and I also got some samples here but it's not much. It can't compare with what you get from Chanel in Korea. I always say this but you really don't have to bring anything with you if you're going to Korea because you get so many samples everywhere. When I got those Hera samples when I bought the Hera skincare in Korea I got so many sample sets I couldn't even finish that over 3 months because I got so many so <laughs> it can't compare. So I just got a few samples here and this one is the Sublimage La Creme so it's another fine texture cream and then there is this also from Sublimash. Just let me know if you know what it is for because I'm not sure what it is for. So it says it's ultimate skin rejuvenation. Hmm, I'm not sure what it is but I think it must just be another lotion. And from the same series, this is the tint so this is a foundation. And she told me this one is in the lightest color so it will suit me. Oh, I actually do have one more product I'll have to share with you. So this one is the Chanel number no. 5 perfume. And then their really well-known blue serum, which is really, really nice. And that is what I got from Chanel as for the samples. And I also got another little item here. So this one is the Rose Coco Glass and it's moisturizing and it's just a really nice glass. I got the same color when I was in Denmark and I just wanted to buy another backup because that one is soon finished. And the color of this one is a 728. It's more like a milky pink color and I really really like it. So the applicator is like this and this one I can try. So I usually only put lip gloss in the middle of my lips. So that was what I got from Chanel guys. There's no more so I'm just going to put everything into the bag. Oh, you, you, you. <laughs> oh, he's coming again, guys. I don't know if you noticed him. If you watched my last video, uh, a girl left me a comment. I saw it uh, asking me what does sticky baby mean. I just call him my sticky baby because he always sticks so near to me. He's like never five meters away from me. He always have to like touch me. So when I'm home and whatever I'm doing, he'll just still be on my feet or like use his hands or paws to hold my hand or hold my feet. He's always really sticky. So that is why he's my sticky baby. So I just really wanted to explain what sticky baby means because I didn't really think about it when I said it, but I have always said that like even my husband is a sticky husband. I don't know if you understand that, but that just means that he really likes following me and whenever I go anywhere, he will follow me and whatever I do, he will do. So <laughs> that means sticky. So I just really wanted to explain you guys that. And please don't look at me. I can't film when you do that. Stay. 
it's good for it. <laughs> okay, I just have to make sure that he's not jumping up all the time because if he moves my tripod, I'll have to set the focus point again because I do manual focus. But let's go back into the unboxings and I think I'm gonna take this one. So I got something from Chanel. I mainly went to Chanel because I really wanted another rectangular mini and I went to all Chanel boutiques in Macau. There's only three Chanel stores in Macau and I actually arrived the day after the new fall collection, the Meteor Start. I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm really sorry. But the newest collection, the fall collection, just came out and I really hoped that I could find something that I really like. I have always been looking for another rectangular mini with a Chiron print. And when I arrived in first Chanel store, I really saw they had a new Chanel Chiron mini in a peachy baby pink color with silver hardware. That was just so me. I've bought it if it wasn't because it had problems but all those three bags that I went to see in Macau I took a taxi around because I really wanted to get that bag and if it was perfect I would get it but for that money you are paying for it I'm not going to buy a broken bag I don't know if you understand what I mean when I'm saying that it was broken the leather it's like when your leather is getting some breaks and cuts like it was all around in the bends and like the corners I'm not sure why but I guess it's because it was patent leather and there was just something wrong with those bags because they checked a navy blue one and it didn't have those problems but I didn't want to get a navy blue one because that is just not my color it's really pretty but it doesn't suit me I really just wanted that peachy baby pink color it was just really really pretty like this color really so me I really like it maybe I should put in a picture here so you can see how the bag looks like I really just really wanted that bag because I've always been wanting a Chevron mini so yeah now I'm rambling so much because I continuously have this bag in my head and I can't get it out but yeah anyway this one is something that I also wanted for a long time so yeah here it is so it comes in this really pretty shopping bag as usual and inside I have a little box can you guess what it is I have the receipt right here so I'm just going to place it down so I'm gonna unbox it together with you guys I haven't unboxed it because I just came back home so this is an even faster unboxing than my Chanel ballerina flaps I told you guys that that was my fastest like unboxing video so yeah this one will officially be my fastest unboxing video so let me just open it well forget it I'm just going to <laughs> ah so pretty can't wait to see it so the Chanel ribbon and the camellia flowers stick together so here is the little Chanel box looks like this let me open it really pretty So here it is. This is a Chanel necklace with two CC logos. It's just really pretty and really classic. The other Chanel necklaces, I have only have one Chanel logo and this one has two and I just thought it is so special. And as you can see, both of them do have Swarovski all over. So it comes in this really pretty box and I'm trying to remove it from all the Button, so you can see clearly so I'm just going to take away the box and as you can see it's a longer necklace it's really really pretty I really like it so it looks like this so it's gold it's more like a light gold it's not yellow gold so brushed light gold which I really like so yeah maybe I should just wear it so you guys can see it there's a little pearl on the clasp I'm just going to try it so you can see how it looks like and I'm just going to remove my own necklace first Ta -da 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 -da. So. so as for this necklace there is two links where you can attack it so I'm going to wear it like with the longer one so let me show you guys how it looks like so as you can see if I wear it long it's actually quite long I think it's really really unique that there is like a pendant right here and then one right here it's really cute like it's sitting directly under my collarbone which I really like but I can also like move it so they are more close to each other like this so I have two Chanel logos on top of each other I'm just going to try and put it on the next link just imagine if I had my hair up in a really high knot or just away from my neck 
Then you would see the Chanel logo here hitting on my neck on the back which I think is really cute and really beautiful I really like that and then there would be the Chanel logo in the front so yeah that was the necklace and now I'm just sitting with it on because I don't want to take it off I'm really happy for this necklace and let me share with you guys the price I got a receipt and it looks like this like usual and I got it from the DFS gallery in Macau and it is from the Shabbos at Four Seasons Kutai Strip and actually if you followed me for a long time you would know that i used to buy a lot of chanel costume jewelry and i most likely got all my jewelry from this chanel store they have so many of the classic models that i can't find in other stores so let me share with you guys the price so the necklace was 4400 mop which is um almost the same as hong kong dollars and that would be around 550 to 580 US dollars, I'm not really sure, depending on the currency now. So yeah, that was the only thing that I got from Chanel. Uh, I really hope that I got that back, but I didn't. But anyway, it wasn't meant to be and yeah, not too sad about it. So the last thing that I got, I'm really excited about this. Those of you guys who have followed me for a while, you'll know that the only one thing that I have had in all of my What's In My Bag videos has been my camera like of course i always carry my wallet and my phone and my car keys stuff like that but those still change it through the years but something that i have always had in my bag has been my camera and this one has been with me for years and i really love it all my selfies that you see are my instagram posts and also my vlogs has been made with this small little camera so it has done a lot for me and I really love it. I didn't have to buy a new one but I really wanted it because it's really really pretty. I haven't unboxed it yet and this is the one thing that I'm really so excited about. I can keep like a brand new handbag in my closet for a few months without unboxing it but I can't with this one because this is something that I carry with me every day and I just really want to open it and use it. So without further ado, there is a Casio sticker here. Ah, oh, but the sticker, I haven't unboxed it, so I can't really just pull. Let me get a scissor. So I'm back. So I just cut it right there over on my table. So there is this sticker which says Casio and then 16 gigabyte. Oh my god, I'm so, so excited. Ah, I'm so, so excited about this. I mean, oh, there's something in the back. Oh. I'm so so excited yeah I can't wait to see it so this is my first time seeing this because in the store they didn't have it in pink they only had it on display in black and white but of course I had to get the pink color so this will be my very first time seeing the pink color <gasps> oh my god I'm making like a really big deal but it is for me whoa it's so pretty yay Oh my god, so it's like a metallic baby pink color as you can see it's really pretty I don't want to go into too many details about it because it's an electronic and I'm not sure that you guys are interested in it but uh, I am so happy that I got this there is another little box which says Excellent TR so inside there is like a USB to the charger and there is the warranty cards inside here i got the receipt in my wallet and then there is oh i didn't know that it would come with a scandix 16 gigabyte sd card but actually i saw on the sticker when i just cut it that it says something 16 gigabyte I can't read Chinese so I don't know what it says but it says something 16 gigabyte so this one is for free and then there is the adapter and nothing else so it's just really simple ah oh, I'm just so happy <laughs> you guys may already know or can see that I'm always so happy when I get pink things I don't know why pink color always make me so so happy and this is just such a pretty pink color like mixed with gold 
pretty combination so I don't want to go into too many details about it let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to see like a comparison video in between my TR15 and my new TR80 so this one is the Casio XLM TR15 which I think is the one that this camera got popular for so that was the reason that I had to pay 9800 MOP back then in Macau because it was really popular and for this one I paid 7800 MOP I don't know how to compare the price but for this price you can get a Canon DSLR camera or actually more so this is more expensive but I think it's really worth it because of the technology and I would even have bought it if it was more expensive because there is no camera like this one this camera the lens is just so wide that you can take a selfie of your full body alone so you can like hold it and take a full body photo so you don't need to hold a selfie stick or anything I don't know anything about the functions yet I know that this one has beauty function when you're filming so next time I'll vlog I'll use this camera so you can see the difference so this one is going to take a little more space in my mini handbags but I guess it's okay it can fit there so yeah I'm going to play with my camera now so yeah, I guess that's it for this video guys. There is nothing too much to say about this camera. I really hope that you like this little mini luxury haul. I am going to play with this camera, so I'm gonna go now. So I really hope that you enjoyed this little haul and I think that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please remember to give me a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you again in my next video. And as always, stay beautiful and stay blessed. I'll see you again next time. Ah! Oh my god, they're so pretty. So here they are. And yes, you guys guessed right. Many of you commented in my Instagram post. It must be something pink. 